everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Rock and Rob's Metal Madness Podcast. I am your host with the most, the Major Rager, the Metal Maniac, the Apache Viking Nomad from Hell himself, Rock and Rob. I want to thank everybody that's been tuning in, and especially our first-time listeners. If you're tuning in from YouTube, please like and share this video, as well as subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you're tuning in from Spotify or wherever you get your podcasts from, please leave a positive review on those formats. This podcast is supported directly by the generous donations of the listeners and viewers like you. You can send donations to me directly to my Cash App, Chime, PayPal, and Venmo to rockinrobsa 210 that's R-O-C-K-I-N-R-O-B-S-A-210. You can also join my Patreon to become a patron for special perks at 210 times 2 Productions. That's 210X2 Productions. Thank you very much for your support. If you have questions, concerns, comments, or would just like to chat with me, you can send me an email to rockandroblives210 at gmail.com. On today's episode, I'll be reviewing the 2013 album Heavy Metal Music by Newstead. So it's been quite a while since I have done a full album review. I was looking through previous episodes of the podcast and realized I posted only one review of a full album, which was one of the ideas I had originally for the podcast. Although I did review the And Justice for All album by Metallica on a previous episode, I realized that was the only review I had done up to this point on the podcast. Now, I have done some reviews on my main channel on YouTube, but they were not directly connected to the podcast itself. I decided to go ahead and write another album review. Seeing how my last album review was of a Metallica record, and this particular album is a favorite of mine that has been in heavy rotation recently, I will go ahead and review the album from 2013 by Jason Newstead's solo band entitled Heavy Metal Music. The band is simply referred to as Newstead. Let's go ahead and do this shit, shall we? So to start things off, we're going to do a brief recap of Jason Newstead and his history as a musician. We will also talk for a little bit about his solo band Newstead. This information can be found via Wikipedia. Jason Curtis Newstead, born March 4, 1963, is an American musician best known as the bassist of the heavy metal band Metallica from 1986 to 2001. He performed with the thrash metal band Flotsam and Jetsam for the first five years of his career before joining Metallica in October 1986 to secede Cliff Burton, who died the month prior. Newstead performed on the albums and Justice for All in 1988, Metallica or the Black Album in 1991, Load in 1996, and Reload in 1997. He left the group in early 2001. After leaving Metallica, Newstead was a member of metal bands Echo Brain and Voivod, using the pseudonym Jasonic for the latter, and toured with Ozzy Osbourne. Since 2012, he fronted the heavy metal band Newstead. Newstead was inducted to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as a member of Metallica in 2009. Jason Curtis Newstead was born in Battle Creek, Michigan. He has two older brothers and a younger sister. He grew up on a farm and at the age of six was given the responsibility of looking after animals. He was tasked with looking after hundreds of chickens and rabbits. He told author Paul Stenning, quote, It's where I learned about life. Seeing a baby cow born right in front of your eyes when you're eight years old is pretty intense. I was from a very strong family and I was raised to be strong. Pure Americana farm boy. Newstead's mother taught piano, and one of his brothers plays trumpet. He was exposed to music as a child, listening to the record collections of his older brothers. His first instrument was a guitar, which he learned to play at nine years old. But he moved to bass at 14, after listening to Gene Simmons of Kiss. 
Newstead dropped out of high school at age 18 and joined Gangster, a local metal band, before the group decided to relocate to California. Newstead cites Geezer Butler of Black Sabbath as his major influence. He lists Lemmy Kilmister of Motorhead, Steve Harris of Iron Maiden, Peter Baltes of Accept, Getty Lee of Rush, Rob Grange of Ted Nugent, and Bill Church of Montrose as other significant influences. In December 2012, Newstead formed his own band called Newstead with drummer Jesus Mendes Jr., guitarist Jesse Farnsworth, and stained guitarist Mike Mashak, joining later in March 2013. The band released a four-song EP entitled Metal on January 8, 2013, Newstead released its debut album entitled Heavy Metal Music on August 6, 2013. In September 2014, the band appeared inactive as its website contained only a brief message that as of September 15, 2014, Jason Newstead was no longer on any social networking sites. As of 2018, the Newstead official website has been deactivated. He ceased touring with Newstead due to other musical interests, as well as the band being unprofitable. He says, quote, It cost me an awful lot of money, hundreds of thousands of dollars, to take the band Newstead around to the 22 countries we played. In April 2023, Newstead announced the band had been reactivated and would play their first show in nearly a decade on May 20th at Revolution Live in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. In 2004, Newstead signed on as an official supporter of Little Kids Rock, a nonprofit organization that provides free musical instruments and instruction to children in undeserved public schools throughout the United States. Newstead was married in 1988 to Judy Talbert, but the couple divorced in 1991 during the recordings of the Black Album. He is currently married to Nicole Lay Smith, whom he wed in October 2012. She was his girlfriend of 11 years, whom he refers to as the, quote, love of my life. While still his girlfriend, it was Nicole, an artist herself, who suggested he try painting. She now encourages Newstead to, quote, move forward with his art. So now that we've had some time to talk about Newstead and his history, we will now go into the album review of his solo band Newstead and their 2013 album entitled Heavy Metal Music. Let the reviewing begin! Heavy Metal Music by the band Newstead, released in 2013, is the debut solo album by the band led by former Metallica bassist Jason Newstead. The album stays true to its name delivering a solid dose of heavy metal with influences of thrash and doom metal. The music is characterized by heavy riffs, pounding drums, and aggressive vocals. Jason Newstead's voice has been compared to Chuck Billy of Testament, adding a thrash metal vibe to the tracks. Lyrically, the album deals with themes of political skepticism, war, and societal issues. The lyrics are straightforward and fit well with the heavy, no-nonsense musical style. The general impression by the critics gave heavy metal music favorable reviews. The album was praised for its straightforward, no-frills approach to heavy metal. It was seen as a solid return for Jason Newstead, with many appreciating the raw energy and heaviness of the music. Some critics noted that while the album wasn't groundbreaking, it was a competent and enjoyable heavy metal record. The lyrics delve into themes of resilience, personal strength, the underdog spirit, war, political skepticism, freedom, integrity, self-exploration, inner turmoil, and life's fleeting nature. I found the overall themes within Jason Newstead's lyrics refreshing, and a generally positive message that is far too often overlooked in a genre that has such power and force within its sound. Overall, the album is a strong debut that showcases Jason Newstead's ability to craft heavy, engaging metal songs. If you're a fan of traditional heavy metal with a modern edge, this album is definitely for you. Now let's go into a breakdown of the individual tracks. Track 
Track 1, Road Dose. A mid-tempo track with a solid stoner rock feel. The chugging opening riff allows the song a chance to breathe and build up. A solid opener that explores the themes of resilience and strength, encouraging listeners to push through challenges and adversities. The lyrics suggest a call to action and empowerment. Track 2, Soldier Head. Fast-paced and reminiscent of Newstead's earlier work with Voivod, Flotsam and Jetsam, and of course his early tenure with Metallica. The lyrics are a tribute to soldiers and the sacrifices that they make. It delves into the harsh realities of war and the mental and physical toll it takes on those who serve. The bridge of the song has an especially nice sounding bass line that complements the contrasting guitar riff. Track 3, As the Crow Flies. This song features a slower, more deliberate pace. The riffs are some of the most solid on the record as well as the music video that was made for this song as well. The lyrics use the metaphor of a crow's flight to discuss freedom and the journey of life. It reflects on the idea of moving forward despite obstacles. Just an overall badass track from Newstead that really highlights his abilities both as a lyricist and music writer. Track 4, Am Possible. Another mid-tempo track with a very strong groove. The lyrics focus on overcoming the impossible and defying the odds. It's a motivational track that speaks to perseverance and determination. I absolutely love the overall positive tone that encompasses a great deal of the lyrical themes on this record. It really is a window into the viewpoints of Jason Newstead and not letting his departure from Metallica make him bitter. Dave Mustaine could learn a thing or two from Jason's outlook by comparison. Track 5, Long Time Dead. A fast, thrashy song reminiscent of a band like Motorhead. This song's lyrics deal with the concept of mortality and the fleeting nature of life. It encourages living life to the fullest and not taking that time for granted. It's important to remember how short life really is and how precious the time we have can be, and this track definitely addresses that sentiment. Track 6, Above All. A standout track with a catchy chorus. The lyrics emphasize the importance of staying true to oneself and maintaining integrity. It speaks to the idea of rising above negativity and staying focused on personal values. It's hard not to get into the infectious positivity that Newstead's lyrics espouse about defying the doubters and naysayers. Track 7, King of the Underdogs. This is hands down my favorite song on the record. One of the most anthemic songs on the album by far. The bass intro is reminiscent to his days with Metallica, similar to the introduction of the song My Friend of Misery on Metallica's self-titled record, often referred to as the Black Album. The buildup is undeniable, and when the guitars come in with the main riff, it's brutal, punishing, and it hits you in the face. It's such a shame that Jason's writing skills were so often overlooked in his time with Metallica. The lyrics celebrate the underdog, and fighting against all odds. It's an anthem for those who are often overlooked and underestimated. A true banger of a song from start to finish. Track 8, Nocturnus. This song features a darker and more atmospheric sound, slower, menacing, and leaning heavily into a doom metal influence. The lyrics have a darker tone, exploring themes of inner turmoil and the struggle with one's own demons. It delves into the concept of facing, overcoming personal darkness, exploring the darker side of oneself. Track 9, Twisted Tale of the Comet. A heavy, riff-driven track with a return to the thrash feel found earlier in the record. The lyrics use cosmic imagery to discuss fate and destiny. It reflects on the unpredictability of life and the twists and turns that come with it. It's clear that Jason is mourning the loss of someone. Could it be the late bassist Cliff Burton, someone he knew personally, or maybe even himself? Only Jason Newstead knows for sure. Track 10, Kind Evolution. Another solid heavy metal track. The lyrics discuss disillusionment and the loss of innocence. It speaks to the harsh realities that can shatter idealistic views. Could this be a reflection of his disillusionment with the outcome of his tenure with Metallica? Once again, only Jason Newstead would know.
Track 11, Future Reality. The album closes with a very powerful finish. The lyrics in this closing track look towards the future with a mix of hope and caution. It discusses the potential for change and the importance of shaping one's own destiny. So I'd like to share my overall thoughts and personal experiences with this album. Heavy Metal Music is a strong debut that showcases Jason Newstead's ability to craft well-written heavy metal songs. The first songs I heard off of the record were featured in the Metal EP, which included tracks like Soldier Head, King of the Underdogs, but also a couple of bonus tunes named Skyscraper and God Snake, also very solid tunes. Unfortunately, Although the Metal EP is available on most streaming platforms, such as Spotify, for example, the album Heavy Metal Music is not. I've only been able to locate it on YouTube, so I will include a link to a playlist of the full album, with bonus tracks included within the description of this podcast, just to make it a little easier for you to find. If you're a fan of traditional heavy metal with a modern edge, this album is well worth a listen. So today's shout out is going to be a little bit different. Instead of giving a shout out to a particular album, this episode's shout out goes out to Music Will, formerly known as Little Kids Rock. Music Will is a nonprofit charity based in Montclair, New Jersey that encourages and enables children to play popular music. It provides free music instruction and instruments to public school districts across the country from kindergarten through high school. Their modern band curriculum is rooted in popular music such as rock, blues, hip-hop, reggae, country music, funk, etc. And their teaching methods are rooted in teaching music as a second language with a heavy emphasis on composition and improvisation. It is the largest non-profit music program in U.S. public schools. The charity was brought to my attention prior to researching Jason Newstead. I became aware of them originally courtesy of the Ride for Dime, an annual gathering of bikers that go out on a ride for the late guitarist of Pantera, Dimebag Darrell, who was tragically murdered on stage back in 2004. Rest in peace, Darrell. The proceeds from the Ride for Dime are donated to Music Well, formerly known as Little Kids Rock. I donated money to this charity personally. Every donation I sent included a message, Care of Dimebag Darrell. I would encourage you to donate to this organization so we can encourage a new generation of rockers to pursue the absolute joy that is playing and making original music. So please, go donate to Music Well and tell them Rock and Rob sent you. I will include a link in the description. So that's going to be it for today, folks. I want to thank everyone once again for tuning in for another episode of Rock and Rob's Metal Madness Podcast. I am your host with the most, the Major Rager, the Metal Maniac, the Apache Viking Nomad from Hell himself, Rock and Rob. I want to thank everyone once again for tuning in, and especially our first-time listeners. If you are tuning in from YouTube, please like and share this video, as well as subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you're tuning in from Spotify or wherever you get your podcasts from, please leave a positive review on those formats. This podcast is supported directly by the generous donations of the listeners and viewers like you. You can send donations to me directly to my Cash App, Chime, PayPal, and Venmo to rockinrobsa 210 That's R-O-C-K-I-N-R-O-B-S-A-210. You can also join my Patreon to become a patron for special perks at 210 times 2 productions That's 210X2 Productions. Thank you very much for your support. If you have questions, concerns, comments, or would just like to chat with me, you can send me an email to rockandroblives210 at gmail.com. Live long, 
Live loud and live legendary. Keep it evil, my fellow metal people.